Saturday, May 11th, 2024. Focus. Spoke and thought accurately the things concerning Jesus. Apollos emerges quite abruptly with a brief introduction as a native of Alexandria. It is not clear who trained him, but he was an eloquent man who thought accurately. Though he knew only the baptism of John, he had a fan following in Corinth, but his dismay found that the Christians were divided between him and Paul. Later, Paul sorted this out, saying, I planted, Apollos watered, but God gave the growth. I draw lessons from Apollos. For one, he was very humble and did not seek personal glory or fame. He respectfully accepted instructions from Priscilla and Aquila. According to St. Jerome, Apollos was so distressed by the divisions in Corinth that he retired to Crete and returned only when the schism was healed. Second, one can do great things and yet not get banner headlines. Apollos was instrumental in building the church in Ephesus and then in Corinth, but gets only a couple of mansions. Third, Apollos is a good example of in that day, you will ask nothing of me. This is ask in the sense of inquire, not petition. Christ is talking of the Pentecost. Apollos went on to do great things with only the Holy Spirit as guide. Fruit To be accurate in proclaiming Christ, I will be humble like Apollos, seeking only the good of others and of the Church.